Okay, uh, guys, uh, this is how I use uh, this app, okay? Um, first of all, you go to the link, then you can name it like you want. You can create uh, an account, okay? It's a free account. Um, I created mine. Uh, you are going to have a password, whatever. You save it, right? So you can go back to it. Create as many instances you want. It's a really cool map. The app and then this one basically uh what do we have here we have b that is basically the number of bitcoins that you own y represents um the number of years in the future because we start from the genesis block right and we have about 15.5 years from the genesis block so this represents the years in the future um when you do this Later, you have two options. You can always remember the time that you started, right? And then had an adequate number of years, right? Or you can change these, right? If it is 16 years from the Genesis block, etc., you can do that, okay? Um, or just remember the day, right? Today, uh, you can make a note here. There is a, a way of making a note underneath here, like see you can say there are different things that you can add so you can add a note note yeah okay hi it is on six seven so you remember which day <coughs> or any other note that you want okay and then um so you're going to have a number of bitcoin let's say you have 10 of them okay like or 11 whatever they are 10 10. so you just move a slider and then you look at the future or many years in the future okay so it's just a slider this graph is showing the same thing but uh, at any particular point you can go here you know you can look in the past in the future you know uh, it does the same thing right so the x-axis represents a number of days you will figure out how many days um, is from the genesis birth uh, so the first number is the x-axis and the other one is uh, how many day, how many dollars you do per day this is what this equation represents right and why that that is so because this is a usual power law formula 10 to the minus 17 times the number of days from the genesis block to the power of 5.82 and we subtract it from previous day you know the previous day will be x minus one right the previous day so if you take these subtractions, it's basically calculating the value of the power law at this particular day minus the value at the previous day. And uh, and this what included here, but now it's expressed in terms of years from in the future. And is also set it up in terms of, uh, of these variables where we can control with uh, the slider. So if you go to 10, for example, let's say you had a uh, 10 Bitcoin, you go 10 years from now, okay, then it will tell you you're making about $7,844. Of course, this is going up every day, um, you know, so, so if you go a few days later, it's going to be higher, but this gives you an idea, right? So uh, it's, it's a rough number, right? So, I mean, it's, of course, it's, you know, we could be in a bubble, we can be at the bottom, but it's kind of an average value, right? It's amazing that your Bitcoin is going up almost $8,000 a day um, in 10 years from now. And if you go all the way to 15 years, for example, okay, that will be a much bigger number. In that case, it's $18,000. Yeah, kind of crazy. This will be not one single Bitcoin. This will be the total of your Bitcoin, 10 Bitcoins. If you go relatively a small amount of time, like five years, okay? In theory, you could make a living out of that, right? Because it could take a small fraction, in particular if you are in a country, say you move and you go and retire in these countries where you can live with a few dollars a day, you could really live by simply taking a little bit of Bitcoin every day, you know? 
and don't do anything else. It's just crazy. So in this case, five years from now, 10 Bitcoins will give you 2,700. You know, this, uh, people will leave, with, not, don't even make that money in a month, you know, in certain countries in particular. Um, so it's just crazy, okay? And this does include inf inflation. We could include, a f this may be what they do next day. So I'm going to put some inflation and then you can play with the inflation. Um, you can have different rates of inflation. We can add that, okay? And we can make another sliders. But let me do that tomorrow. I want to do it on the fly. It's relatively simple. It's just uh, subtract like a percentage value from these. Uh, we can do that tomorrow. Okay. All right. So I hope, I hope this is useful. Play with this app because it's a really cool app, you know. All right. Okay. Bye, guys.